Hello and welcome to the Business Whisperer podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Adila Rafiz, the global business whisperer. If you are wondering how to create a life in business that is intuitive, authentic, and successful, that is exactly what we are here to help you do each and every week, where we bring you episodes, interviews, tools, tips, everything that you are looking for to help you realize that the most important ingredient in your business is you, and listening to the whispers of your intuition, your gut instinct. It has helped me create a business beyond my wildest dreams, and I'm here to now help you do the same. So if you are ready to download some of this business whispering magic into your life and business, stay tuned because you're in the right place. Welcome to another episode of the Business Whisperer podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Adela Rafiz. I've got a quick episode for you today on a really common topic, a popular topic, and I am sure you've heard about this concept and this conversation before about functioning outside of your comfort zone and how to create. But I want to just give you this reminder and hopefully it's going to help you this week or whenever you're listening to this podcast to get out of that comfort zone again. And I say again because this is what I think happens with creation. The creation process, no matter what it is that you're creating or you're doing, most of my clients, a lot of my acquaintances, they're in business, okay? So when we talk about creating, we're creating our lives, we're creating our business, we're creating our financial realities. So this is what we're engaged in every day. And yet we still get stagnant, we still feel stuck, or we still feel like progress isn't happening as fast as we would like. And these are a few things that I think you can do to speed up results at any time. One of the things that happens is we get out of creation mode, we go back into uh, maintenance mode. So I want you to ask yourself that question right now. Have I been creating? Have I been actively creating? Or have I slipped back into maintenance mode? Am I waking up? Am I in routine? Am I not doing anything different? Am I not doing anything new? Am I not thinking outside of the box? And have I not pushed myself in any area of my life recently? Am I learning something new? Am I doing something new? Am I practicing something new? Am I doing something that makes me feel uncomfortable or not? And if the answer is no across the board for all of those things, then that's going to give you an indication that you're probably stagnated. And what you want to look at then is how are the results lately in your life? How, how well are you moving forward in the areas of your life or towards the milestones or goals that you've set for yourself? Are you functioning at the speed that you would like? And if that is no, if the results are not coming to you at the speed or the ease at which you would like, here's what I would recommend. Here's what I want you to look at. The comfort zone, something that we all like to function from is safety. So I do understand and I teach a lot about safety, energetic safety, emotional safety, neurological safety. So that's a given. And yet when we want to take that next step, when we want to take that next jump, when we want to have that quantum leap experience across any area of our life, it's going to involve leaving our current comfort zone, leaving what we know to experience something better. But our body and our mind still perceives that as the unknown and therefore perceives it as a threat. And that is why we are so inclined to want to stay in that comfort zone. One of the fastest ways for you to get results is for you to do the things that make you uncomfortable. A lot of people have a tendency to take a long time thinking about the thing they need to do that is outside of their comfort zone before doing it. And on the flip side, those that smaller percentage of people that you see that are constantly growing, one of the things that they're doing is they're spending less time in that thinking phrase. They're spending less time in that wondering how to do it, knowing that they need to do it, but hesitating to do it, thinking about all of the things they need to do first, all of the ducks they need to get in a row, all of the points of view or opinions of others that they need to get before they take that step. So however long you stay 
in that phase, in that place, it's holding you back from the action that's taking you out of your comfort zone. And that almost immediately generates a different result. Even if it feels uncomfortable, even if it's initially not even the result you wanted, even if you feel like it's going badly, it's creating different action, which creates different energy, which creates different outcomes. This is what we want. A lot of us are stuck in the same. And if you're struggling with the same and you want different, how quickly can you act today? What is the thing you've been putting off? What is the thing you've been waiting on? Where is it that you've been holding back that you can actually step into a completely different mode of creation and therefore start to see results in that area? where you have felt or you have been stagnant until now. That's number one. Number two, such a classic, such an oldie, such a goldie, waiting or hoping for permission. <laughs> waiting for permission. And this is actually a concept. This is conceptual. It's very similar to what I've just spoken about, getting out of your comfort zone. Uh, another thing that keeps us uh, held back is this perceived reality where we require the validation and the permission of others. It's actually not even a real thing. There are very few people that even have a level of understanding or comprehension of who you are and what you want to do that can give you that permission. There is no one that can give you permission to live the life of your dreams, to create the life of your dreams. And no one that can give you permission or validation to create it as you. Something we forget is even if you have a mentor, even if you have a guru, even if you have someone who's much more experienced than you in the particular field that you wish to create in, whilst they can guide you, they can mentor you, and they can give you information and advice, they are still not you. So you have a unique makeup, you have unique energy, you have unique physiology, you have a unique background, you are the things that make you you. So no one else is in your shoes and therefore no one else, unless you have someone that you really look up to, unless you're taking advice from someone who absolutely has the life, the business, the relationships, the health, the wealth that you aspire to, and you have high levels of congruence with that person. So you know that the information and advice that's relevant to them is relevant to you. You're not asking someone with a completely different lifestyle, a completely different background, and a completely different mindset to help you because you do not operate at that same level, at that same frequency, within that same um, belief system. Their information and advice is not going to help you. It's like asking someone that lives in Antarctica how to help you grow your garden in a tropical climate. They might be the most successful farmer in Antarctica, but in fact, I don't think anything grows in Antarctica, but <laughs> let me rephrase, you get the point here. You're asking someone whose information and advice is not actually relevant to you or is so far away from your current physical reality, even though you feel like they've provided you with value and information, you don't know how and where to apply it to your life. So you remain stuck, you remain stagnant. It still makes it too hard for you to take that action. So permission is not real. Validation from others is not real. And unless you have someone who's doing more than you, something I'd really like you to look at and consider. I've never received negative information or support. I've never received um, guidance from someone who is doing more than me, who is more successful than me to do less in my life or to not do something or to or that I'm doing something wrong or that I shouldn't try something. Because people who are already active creators in their own life are so busy creating and they operate from an energy of creation and they operate from an energy of going for it. And they have very little time also to turn around and offer you their opinion or feedback of your life or your business unless you actively seek it. 
people who are doing less than you, people who have time, people who are not busy creating their lives, their businesses, their health and wealth, people who are stuck or stagnant in their own lives and have so much free time and so much free space and are unchallenged and not outside of their comfort zone in any way, have plenty of time and will find plenty of opportunities to give you their opinion and give you a lack of permission to outcreate or to create your life. So I want you to look at who you're asking for permission from if you're doing that subconsciously and who you are looking for validation from. And do they have the life and the business that you desire or are you holding yourself back or are you waiting for validation from people that are actually ill-equipped or totally unequipped to give it to you? So if you don't have people in your life that have the life and have the business that you desire to have, go outside of, again, go outside of your comfort zone, go outside of your comfort circles and seek out the people, seek out the authors, seek out the podcasts, seek out the mentors, seek out the coaches that can guide you. And your hesitation here will probably be, well, that's not free or that's not cheap. And that's exactly the point. Because it has to have value associated with for you. It's going to either take your time, your energy, or your money and normally a combination of all three for you to invest in those people that are actually contributing to your growth because they're busy otherwise. So it has to be a win-win for both of you to contribute to your growth. So look at who you are looking for validation or permission from. And if those people are not creating or do not already have the life that you desire, step back and find yourself a new circle or a new group of people that you're looking for validation and permission from. I hope you've found this just a quick reminder, very helpful. I'll be back with another episode soon. I look forward to hearing your feedback about this episode of the Business Whisper podcast. Take care. And that wraps up another episode of the Business Whisper podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. Your support means the world to me. Now, as always, if you found value in today's episode, do me a favor and share it with someone who you know would love this information or leave us a review so you can help other people find this podcast too. Wishing you so much success ahead. And as always, remember, keep following the whispers.